Are you wondering how to build a personal AI agent using Claude that sounds just like you? Well guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how I built this Claude project to create outputs that sound like myself. So be sure to stick around to the very end. So if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan. I appreciate you being here. And my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you want to know my favorite AI tools and prompts that I'm using for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this below this video. But now let's dive back in onto creating a Claude project or an AI agent that sounds just like you. So in order to build this AI agent using Claude, you must be subscribed to Claude Pro, which costs $20 per month. If you're subscribed to ChatGPT Plus and you want to know how to do this with ChatGPT, I'd recommend watching my other video here where I show you how to build a custom GPT. I'll be sure to leave this video in the description below if that's your case. But one of the reasons why I love Claude Pro is the ability to create Claude projects just like this. And I'm going to show you how I built this Ryan Dozer AI agent step by step. So if you're subscribed to Claude Pro and you're following along, the very first thing you want to do is go to the home screen of Claude like I'm on now. And on the top left, hover over Claude and you should see projects. Go ahead and click that. And this will bring you to your projects page. You'll see here I have multiple projects, dozens. I run a marketing agency. We create projects for various clients. But if you haven't created a project, you probably won't see anything here. On the top right, click create project. And in this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to name it my initials, RD Personal AI Agent. You can name this whatever you want. And here for the description, what I'm going to do is the following. I'm going to say, you will be my personal AI agent to help me complete various tasks related to marketing and content creation. Now, if this is something you want to do and have outputs sound just like you, you can copy mine or you can obviously tweak whatever makes more sense in your use case. And I say this includes creating social media content, blog posts, ad copy, emails, and generating content that sounds like me. For visibility, I'm just going to do private and I'm going to click create project. And now my project is created. This is the description we just entered. This is the name we just gave it. I believe you can change this eventually, but not a big deal. And so here you can start interacting with your new AI agent right here. But what we wanna do before that is we wanna set custom instructions. So go ahead and click set custom instructions. I actually have custom instructions ready to go here. So I'm gonna copy and paste this and I'll leave all of this in the video description below. So you guys can just copy and paste if you wanna copy what I'm doing. Come back to my Claude project, and here's what I'm going to do for my custom instructions. You are an expert in artificial intelligence, ChatGPT. I mean, we could even replace this with Claude or do whatever you want there. SEO, PPC, and everything related to marketing. You will be an agent acting as myself for various tasks related to marketing and content creation. Again, this will change based on what you're trying to accomplish. In all of your outputs, please follow the provided instructions. And I say use you know, use the uploaded knowledge to mimic my writing style. I'm going to get to that here in a little bit. That's a very important point. Use a writing tone that shows expertise, seriousness, and empathy. Write at an eighth grade level. That's understandable. And then I also have do not use the following words. There's several of these words and phrases that AI models say all the time that I just want to exclude. So I'm going to click save. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload what's called project knowledge. This is what we're going to do to train this AI agent to make it sound as close to our writing style and our tone as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click add content. You can either add straight text content here or what you can do is you can upload PDFs, you can upload Word documents. And so in this example, I'm gonna click upload from device. I had some things saved ready to go. And I actually saved a PDF of my LinkedIn profile. For those of you who didn't know you could do that, you can go to your LinkedIn, save it as a PDF and upload to this AI agent. That's what I would recommend you do. I'm also going to upload a bio that I wrote. So this is a long form bio, 100% original content. And this is where I'm going with this. Anything that you have written on the internet that is 100% original content, whether it's articles, social media posts, uh, blog posts, et cetera, make sure you're uploading that to the project knowledge. And I also had something else here. If I upload from device, I also had a list of words and phrases to exclude. Uh, so right here, you'll see I have a list and you guys can copy this too, uh, where these are just, again, some of the common words and phrases that we see all the time from AI models, whether it's Claude models, whether it's GPT models, these words are just notorious for AI outputs and I wanna exclude all of it. 
So that's the reason for that. Now, another thing we can do is I'm going to click add content, click add text content. I'm going to actually take transcripts from podcasts that I've been on, like solo podcast episodes, so it better understands my voice and how I talk in addition to how I write. So here's a recent podcast episode that I did. I run a podcast called The Marketing Quacks, 100% me. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drop down the description, and I want to get this transcript. Click Show Transcript. I'm going to copy and paste this entire transcript come back to my AI agent and Claude and just paste it in right here. And then I'm going to name it. Uh, let's do podcast episode transcript. You can name it whatever you want that's relevant. I'm going to click add content. And I'm also going to add, I mean, you can add as many as you want. Here's another solo episode I did. I mean, you can add that. The more knowledge that you can upload to these models, and that's where I'm going with this, the better off your outputs are going to be. So let's go ahead and actually do this one really quick. It's another solo podcast episode. I'm going to get the transcript. And the reason I'm doing solo episodes, I usually have guests on my show, but in my opinion, it doesn't make sense to take a transcript of me and someone else if I'm trying to train an AI model that sounds like me. I'm going to come back here, add text content, paste the transcript, and I'm going to say um, podcast episode transcript. Add content. I, yeah, you can mimic titles here. Uh, and then I also, what you can do, since I have my own YouTube channel, obviously, as you guys are watching, it's 100% me talking. If you have a YouTube channel, you can take a transcript of just videos that you've made where it's just you talking. Obviously, that makes sense because it's just you. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to take the transcript of this recent YouTube video I made, come all the way down and copy this. I'm going to come back to my AI agent. I'm going to add text content. And I'm going to say YouTube video transcript. I'm going to add content. And again, you'll see I've added 12% of the knowledge capacity used. So there's not a ton of capacity in my opinion. As you'll see, I've only uploaded six documents and it already hit 12%, but there should be more than enough storage for you to upload knowledge to basically train this model to the best of your ability to sound like you, your company, or your brand, or whatever you're trying to get it to sound like. So now the moment of truth. Let's put this new personal AI agent inside Claude to the test. So one example that I'm going to do is I write a lot of LinkedIn content. And so again, you guys can do whatever is relevant to what you're accomplishing, but I'm going to ask it a prompt that reads the following. And before I do that, make sure that you're on Claude 3.5 Sonnet. It should be set there to default. That is arguably the best AI model right now, in my opinion. One of the reasons why I like Claude a lot versus some of the other GPT models, but that's that's a story for another day. So make sure it's on Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So I'm gonna come in here and then I'm going to enter this prompt. And it is a long prompt. I'll leave it in the description below if you guys want it. Basically trying to write better LinkedIn content. So it says, help me write a LinkedIn post when I provide the topic. Uh, and then I'm giving it best practices. So basically I wanna write LinkedIn content that sounds like me and not some AI gibberish that we see everywhere on the internet right now. So for this topic, we could do something like, um, is Claude better than, or let's do uh, why Claude, let's actually do this. So topic, why Claude is better than chat GBT. This is something I would definitely write about on my LinkedIn profile. And so here's the post that it's generating. Most marketers are wasting time with Chad GPT when they should be using Claude. That's a pretty good hook in my opinion. Uh, the emoji, you know, you can tell it no emojis and you can fine tune this as time goes on. Uh, I spent a hundred some dollars after testing, better writing quality, longer context window, more accurate data. So what I like about this is it took that from that YouTube transcript. And I know that because this is how much I spent. And I talked about this on one of my recent YouTube videos. So it took what I said in my YouTube transcript and then actually put that into this output for a LinkedIn post. More accurate analysis, handles nuance better. So I agree with all of this. Uh, and this post isn't bad. I would remove the hashtags. You can come back in here and say, remove hashtags. And then you could go back into your custom instructions and say, remove hashtags, remove them emojis and just keep fine tuning this AI agent. So that way it gets to the outputs that you are desiring. Now let's do one more real world example. And this is something that I use Claude for a lot is repurposing YouTube videos to written content, whether that's blog posts, social media posts, email newsletters, etc. right? Something like that. So I'm going to prompt my new AI agent with the following 
repurpose my YouTube video in a blog post that sounds like me when I provide the target keyword and transcript. I'm actually gonna tweak this and say uh, SEO optimized blog post, not just any blog post. We want a blog post to try to rank for a certain keyword on Google. So I'm gonna click enter. So there's the prompt there. And now I'm going to take one of my YouTube videos. Let's just use this one as an example. So I'm gonna come back and copy and paste this entire transcript. We want that in here. So let's drag down, copy, come back to my Claude project. It says I'll create. So here I'm gonna say target keyword. Obviously it needs to know a target keyword. I wouldn't recommend just dumping the transcript there. Uh, I'm gonna say, what is the target keyword? Let's go back here. How much should you spend on AI tools? Let's do that as the target keyword. How much should you spend on AI tools? And I'm going to give it the transcript, paste that transcript. Then I'm going to click enter and I'm gonna skip ahead after this output is complete. All right, so here's the output that Claude came up with. This took about 15 or 20 seconds for it to generate this. Uh, so if I'm looking at it, there's the SEO title. Uh, there's my current AI tool stack. I like, how, I like how it breaks that down, what you actually need to spend on AI tools. And remember, it's getting all of this information from my YouTube video and then using the transcript to recycle it in an SEO optimized blog post format, breaking down AI tool costs by use case research. I actually like how it did that image generation, free AI tools that I mentioned in the video, my final recommendation. I like that. Uh, I mean, you could even come back here and tweak it and say, add FAQs, give me a meta description, uh, you know, add this heading, remove that heading. You can continue to fine tune it. But another great thing about this is let's say, um, okay, great. Now generate a LinkedIn post uh, using a maximum of 300, let's do 200 characters based on this blog post. Um, remember to make the outputs sound like me. I'm gonna say my name just so it knows that. And then you can do things like this. So I'm now I'm gonna get a LinkedIn post based on that blog post. Here's a LinkedIn post in your style. Ever wonder how you should, much you should spend on AI tools? And again, you can add higher character limits. I just did a quick example. You could turn this into an email newsletter if you want, right? The opportunities here are really endless for a task like this and repurposing and recycling content. But again, the most important thing about this of what I'm showing you is that this does somewhat sound like something that I would actually write. It's not just going straight to claw.ai if I go back to the home screen and then typing in all the tasks here or prompts here like most people do. That is the benefit of using an AI agent just like this, my RD personal AI agent with all the uploaded knowledge to create outputs that sound as close to us as possible. Now, is this a silver bullet? No, it does require some fine tuning. If you don't like what the outputs are giving you, come into the custom instructions and add here. I think there's like a unlimited character amount you can add to the custom instructions. So be sure to keep fine tuning this and polishing it by you know tweaking the custom instructions to what you want. Also, I'd be adding more project knowledge and get this as close to 100% capacity as possible. The more high quality knowledge that you can upload, the better the outputs that you will get. So with all of that being said, that is how you create an AI agent inside Claude using what's called a Claude project. I appreciate you all if you've made it this far into the video. If you found value, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. What do you guys think about this process? Do you have a Claude project? Do you prefer custom GPTs? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.